the Wildest Dreams Camp Fam. I am rejoined now by Kendrick Sampson. He's possibly best known to many people as Nathan on Issa Rae's Emmy Award winning series Insecure. But of course we know him as memorable characters of Vampire Diaries and How to Get Away with Murder. Recently Kendrick surprised his fans when he showed up as the object of Adele's desire in the highly anticipated music video for her new song, I Drink Wine. Ooh, ooh what was going on there? And right now he's starring in a romantic holiday comedy of eras as a single dad and writer, finding love with surprising twists in the movie Something from Tiffany's. Take a look. Daisy, I'm gonna propose to Vanessa. That is the one. You heard the boss. I'm looking to get a present for my girlfriend. I was hoping that one of those blue boxes would do the trick. Let me show you what we have. You're not gonna open the box? No, I can't. What if it is what we think it is? I don't know if I'm ready for this. Merry Christmas. Come on, it's I don't know what to say. Me neither. You're beautiful. He got my ring, I got his present. You gotta go get the ring back. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm fine as hell too. What are those, Hazel? Oh my God, Terry. <laughs> Please welcome back actor Kevin Samson. I love it. I can't wait to talk about the movie. I have to tell people a little backstory with you and Mari. You met yeah. in Flint in 2018, 2018 when you went yeah. to Flint, Michigan. Yeah, we went and... Me and Shailene and a bunch of people went out there and, you know, she was so incredible and in teaching, you know, raising awareness around what's happening in, in, during the Flint crisis. And she gave us a tour and she told us, you know, what was happening and, and it was so inspiring. I mean, these kids that are doing, what was I doing at that age? It definitely wasn't that. <laughs> I was over here like, where are these uh, shaking dog toys? And, <laughs> And she's out saving lives. Saving lives. I know, when, when she started crying there, I, we both were like, what? Oh. oh, I mean, because we know she how hard tears. it is. tears, especially her. Especially her. So we're both Texans. You grew up in Houston. Yeah. Oh, on, my God. OK, clearly you brought your aunts and relatives <laughs> with you. <laughs> I didn't even know to dream this big until I saw Iola Johnson, the first black woman who anchored the news in Texas. And my dad said, if you get your grades up, you could do that too. Well, and I tried my best to honor my dad and do that. Thank you to Iola I, for I know, thank you, Miss Iola Johnson, for being <laughs> an inspiration. What inspired you to dream this big? You. No, no. <laughs> I, I, no I had, I, I mean, I've always had a big imagination. Yeah. Like, I, I was... I used to, I don't know why I would tell this, but <laughs> I used to sit at my little desk and think that these were elephants during nap time. I didn't nap. Oh. I was up there having battles with animals as my hands like. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had a wild imagination, tried to do impressions and all kinds of stuff. So when I finally saw and found out that people could do acting and yeah. get paid for it. They could do these impressions and stuff. I was like, ain't no turning back. Mama, help me out. <laughs> Mama, take out. me yeah. there. What was your first audition? My first audition, I think, was for a news spot, and I got it. Oh. I, I was paid $100. Oh. Um, and it was, it was <laughs> nothing impressive. <laughs> I was <laughs> sitting at a desk looking at a teacher on the chalk, right on the chalkboard. So you were a student on a debt in the, t was it a yeah, commercial? Yeah, like a news segment between, you know, uh, at, at five, we're gonna talk about how kids are doing in the school. And I was out there like, oh. <laughs> that was my first acting job. That was your job. first acting $100. job. $100. I got, I, and I took that thing, cause I was what? I think I was uh, 12 or 13. So oh. I was, I took that $100 and I was like, I'm rich. <laughs> you know? And then I, I, I booked a commercial in high school, uh -huh. which was the best and worst thing that ever happened. I think it was a Popeye's or Church's, a Church's commercial. Church's, Church's chicken, chicken commercial, yeah, yeah. Church's chicken. Yeah. So they called me, cause you know, Houston, H-Town, ain't a whole lot of entertainment going out there back then. Uh -huh. They called me Chicken Boy. And that was what? a compliment. They would be like, ah, Chicken Boy. <laughs> From the, and cause I'm you like, were popular. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, that was not in my notes. So you were in a commercial, and that your nickname becomes Chicken Boy. Yeah, yeah. All right. So then Chicken Boy goes on to become this huge star. Yo, well, I'll say this one thing: when I was working in the mall in the Galleria in Houston, they used to say they used to this one woman and her daughter came in and she was like, 
I think that's Chicken Boy. And, <laughs> and her, da- her, her, her mom was like, what? And she was like, from the church's chicken commercial. She was like, no, it's not. And he was, she was like, yes, it is. I think that's him. And I'm hearing the whole thing. Uh-huh. And she goes, she goes, that wouldn't be him. If he was, if he was chick- the Chicken Boy, would he be working here right now? <laughs> oh and I was God. over there like, Folding clothes, <laughs> like folding clothes, trying to pretend I didn't hear like, oh, yeah. yes, I would Wait. be. I'm still broke. Okay. I ain't got no money. <laughs> so Chicken Boy somehow ends up starring in a movie at Tiffany's. Yeah. I mean, something from Tiffany's. Your character is a single dad yeah, yeah. looking for love. The clip is adorable. When you read the, the script for this, especially now you're playing a dad, look at you combing hair. And uh, what was that like? You know, um, Shout out to Hello Sunshine. They uh, allowed us to incorporate some things. I was like, who's doing her hair? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Single dad, you know, somebody, she's got these Afro puffs. And Somebody's stuff. gotta be doing, and did you practice on anybody to get this right? I ain't gotta practice on Oh, you know got, how to do hair. I got 24 nephews and nieces. <laughs> I, ain't got, I don't need no practice. So I you say, were ready Give me that for it. <laughs> I'm, you know, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> No, I, I, we had an incredible time, and she reminds me a little bit of Mari because she's yeah. just so sweet, so caring. Leah is extremely talented. We bonded it automatically, like immediately. We would play love... tic-tac-toe between... Well, I have to tell you, I'm a sucker for a good rom-com. Yeah, yeah. I love, like, romantic, and all of the twists in this, it had to be so fun on set. It was, it yeah. was. I, you know, like I said, we was playing tic-tac-toe between, I, and I, I beat her. Oh. I'm great at beating kids. Oh, you're tic-tac- see, at just, games. I, and listen, I'm great at beating, I will, I, I will beat a kid. I ran track, I I used to, I'm gonna race past you. know, everybody don't win all the time. My no. son <laughs> will never win anything until he's earned the right to beat me at something. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, um, the holidays, cause it's Wildest Dreams, I heard you wanted, to, you're taking a trip to Africa? I am going for the first time overseas. Oh, you've never been overseas? I haven't been to Europe, Asia. I've been to North America, Central America, South America. Yeah. I've been to the islands. I have not ever been overseas, so. So Chicken Boy gets to fly across the country. (laughs) And so, and and I said, I said that I wouldn't, I wouldn't go. This was just a personal thing for me. I'm like, somebody's gonna pay for me to go to Europe. I'm blessed, I'm, 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 I'm praying on that but I'm not gonna spend my own money unless I go to Africa first, right? <laughs> so, I, this is me and my trip. I, I ain't no, like, PR I know, I thing. love I that, love I love that, because I had these goals my in my career. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this for myself. I wanna buy this with certain agents. Mm-hmm. So, you're going to Africa, where are you going? Senegal. You're going to Senegal? Senegal, yeah. I've never been, do Yeah, you... one of my closest childhood homies, uh, Anna Jope, um, who's now, in the nanny, she's yeah. incredible. We grew up together, high school. This is yeah, huge. She's a, so two school. huge stars are gonna she's walk from around. She's Senegal, and oh. she's been telling me how amazing it was since middle school, you know, high school. So I've always wanted to. So go. this is your wildest dream. It's one of my wildest. You've dreams. worked this whole career from a hundred dollars to yep. now being able to fly yourself yep, 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 to yep. Africa That's it. for your. Wa- I love that. I invested that hundred dollars. You invested. <laughs> <laughs> took that hundred dollars. Let's say, give me that. Well, we are so happy, not just because of fellow Texan, but you're a great guy. Thank you so much for surprising Mara. We love you. you and keep making those wildest dreams come Thank true. Listen, don't miss it. It's adorable. Something from Tiffany's on Prime Video. As Whoopi Goldberg, my friend, likes to say, grab you some wine, sit back, and laugh and fall in love. You're going to love this movie. Thank you, Kendra.